coming to you live from the basement of an undisclosed location. It's not Flying Cheetos Garage. Don't look there. This is Airsoft Louisville TV. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Airsoft Louisville TV. As you can tell, I'm Flying Cheeto. That is not Hunk. Hunk has gone AWOL this morning. Not sure what happened to him. Guess he went out last night, got drunk, and uh, smoked too many cigars. So anyway, the show must go on. We have a schedule to uh, keep today. Brought on my dog Jackson to prove that any stupid monkey can do this job. He's not even a monkey, but he has a border collie, so... Jackson! Look at that. He pays more attention than Hunk does. So, uh, you know, we have, over the last week, we uh, picked up a sponsor for our TV show, uh, Asylum Extreme, our home field. Uh, Kenny there has been very gracious to uh, provide us with some actual stuff to, just like Hunk, he's leaving me too. So anyway, he's scared of the guns, I forgot. Set us up with a few items to talk about today. Um, First, uh, you know, our, our next home game is going to be June 30th at Asylum. Uh, go ahead and treat this as an old school day. I know we had a, one comment already, someone wanting to know if they can bring their, their box mag. Go ahead and bring it. Well, we're not going to be too strict on this one. Jackson, come, come back up. Let's see if we get Jackson in the back. There we go. Sit. Sit. Good dog. So yeah, um, thanks to Asylum for the, uh, it's gone again. Alright, so this obviously is going to be a one-man show today. Fine, that's fine. We'll, uh, we'll get right into the guns here. Uh, again, these were donated to us by Asylum Extreme. Uh, it's our home field here at uh, Airsoft Louisville. These are both Umarex License HK guns. This is the 416C. Very very solid gun. I mean, I remember when I first started, the way people reviewed guns was uh, they decided they were good enough by how much wobble they didn't have. So this would be the best gun ever made then on those standards. This is a very solid gun. I believe the externals were done by VFC. Um, you know, it it's it's heavy. It's I don't know the exact weight, uh, but it, it's it's a very solid gun. It's got that cool little folding stock on the back nice grip the grip is a bit different than your typical M4 grip it's a very very comfortable gun comes with a pec box uh, wired to the front uh, you're gonna have to try and find yourself a a small enough probably lipo I would go with a 7 7 2 on that for uh, battery wise I chronoed this gun using a 9.6 volt battery um, unfortunately I've gone to all gas so trying to find a battery was a bit of a challenge but uh, you see down here I'll do the hunt thing for you we'll have the uh, the chrono footage of uh, this gun shooting as you can see it averaged about 345 feet per second which is great for a small small weapon like this awesome CQB weapon um, now that, that was with uh, 0.2 gram BBs so I was crying that with um, you know other features on this gun it's got the nice little flip up sights there this gun is brand new so it's still still a little stiff it's waiting for someone to come up buy it break it in like I said these uh, these guns are available at Asylum right now to be purchased I'm really surprised that this gun has been there it's been there for a couple months I guess and uh, you know this is a, an awesome little gun hopefully after this air someone will go up there and give it a new home um, comes with a high cap it's a uh, unique high cap there's no will on the bottom it does have a HK logo on there though it comes with a little tool that you stick in here in a wine but it does use from reports I've seen pretty much every other brand mid and high cap magazine so uh, that won't be a problem for you um, let's see our other gun we got here this is the again Umarex license Full trades on these. The H and K SL9. This is a big gun. It's going to utilize the full fisheye effect of the contour for this one. Um, I think this was uh, 
an Ares gun. Um, again, very solid. It, it comes with a few extra pieces for the cheek riser. Um, it does have full and semi-auto. Kind of, kind of would prefer it just to have semi-auto, but you know, I, I figured out a couple weeks ago I'm not the only one playing airsoft in the world. So, um, yeah, this gun. Uh, quite simply amazing. I, I shot this uh, out my window the other day just to kind of get an idea of the range on it and it was great. It, it, it outranges my uh, gas uh, KJW KCO2 and that's, that's saying quite a bit because that sucker's pumping them out there. Um, uh, you can see I'll do the chrono thing here again. It averaged about 442 feet per second. Um, you know, it, it, it's got that cool blowback when you shoot it. Um, never re really was a big fan of electric blowbacks, but this one's pretty pretty nice, uh, especially if you're using it as a, a sniper or a DMR. It gives it that, that cool little feel. Um, it's got that silencer on it. Having a temp and just, again, these are brand new. I'm not going to mess with these too much. You need to come up, buy these guns. Um, silencer. Inner barrel goes right to the tip of that silencer, so you've got, I would say, at least a 650 millimeter inner barrel on this thing. Um, you go and slap a tight bore into this thing, you're probably going to bump it up to about 460, 470. Um, comes with this bipod. Uh, it does fold up here. I'm not going to force it. I'll let someone who buys it force it. Um, it does extend out. Very cool. Again, both of these guns were uh, donated to us by Asylum to uh, actually have some real product reviews on our show. Um, thanks to Kenny and everyone out there. Uh, always, always a great field and a great bunch of guys. Um, and you know what? I think we're just gonna, I think we're just gonna move this show out to Asylum. Uh, we got a lot of Operation Home Reborn news to get to, and I think it's best suited uh, just doing it on the field. So, uh, see you there. All right, everyone, here we are uh, on location at Asylum. This is uh, Airsoft Louisville's home field. I uh, just wanted to take the rest of this episode basically is walk around and kind of point out all the group areas for Operation Home Reborn. This building behind me is what we refer to as Barrel Island. This is going to be the uh, remainder of the uh, government forces outpost. Uh, a lot of uh, interaction that you'll have here will be through uh, making trades, um, through your various uh, industries that you have to take part in and, and all that. Um, this will be the center of a lot of objectives, firefights, you name it, you'll be here for a while. So let's walk on over to uh, Bethsaida now and check that out. What the, what the heck? Cheeto! What are you doing? Where were you this morning? You, you told me we were filming the video at Asylum. No, I said the video was on Asylum. I've been here all night. <laughs> Jesus. Let me uh, brush the cobwebs off uh, Hunk and we'll be right back. It was so cold. So here we are at uh, Besida. It is a fishing village. Um, you know, of course, the industry is going to be fishing. Here we are next to the lovely, lovely river. Here's look all, all good Hunk. He decided to join us. Come with us, Hunk, and uh, explain to us what we got going on up here. Um, so besides is my village, I'll be playing the professor. Um, it's kind of a small, out-of-the-way type place. Not really looking to uh, start too many major fights. But uh, we're self-sufficient. Um, we got a lot of surprises in store because we're kind of small, so we have to defend ourselves with a lot of traps and tricks. But uh, it's uh, kind of an interesting place. Yeah, the, uh, this group is uh, kind of the epitome of the survivalist group. Um, like you said, it is back out of the way. It's quite a distance away from the other, the other two groups. Um, kind of an advantage and a disadvantage for them. As you can see, we've got this main structure here. And let's head up the hill to the other one. for all the other 
man of team members that might join this team, <laughs> this group, we do have stairs. <laughs> Let's see if we can watch Hunk fall down the stairs. There's no falling. Oh. All right, here's another portion of this group's territory. Nice little and we defensive. Got a seat. <laughs> Seats are important, people. Very important. And for the record, it is about 180 degrees out here, I think. Freaking boiling. Yeah. All right, so let's move on to uh, Al Sakuri. All right, everybody, here we are at uh, Al Sakari's uh, group location. As you can see, a lot of structures already built here. We haven't really focused a whole lot on building anything here because Kenny and the guys here at Asylum have pretty much uh, set us up here. Um, they just got done adding these two new towers as well as rebuilding the structure in the middle. Um, each, you know, there's plenty of supplies here to fortify this location at the beginning of the, this event. Um, you know, that it's kind of a, a huge advantage to be on this team just because of the central location on the field. Uh, getting to objectives should be pretty quick as well as uh, defending this area. If you've got the right people in place, it'd be pretty easy. Um, Al Sakari is a mainly mining based uh, industry. I can't really get into too much of the details of what that means, but uh, he's upriver from me, so that'll maybe be interesting um, to cross the way from Ravenwood. But um, yeah, it's pretty decent, you know, to be on this team. You know, everything's already established, and uh, it'll well, be we, tough. Well, we. Uh... Let's go upstairs in the new uh, structure and uh, get a little shot of the whole area. So here we are at the uh, Ravenwood group location. Um, the Ravenwood is a uh, group of lumberjacks, uh, woodworking type people. Um, you know, they're going to be critical to the, the trade industry for the entire event. Um, you know, they are located next to the bamboo forest, as you can tell. They've got a few, few structures, a few more going up. We've got a nice little surprise in store for this area. Um, Bishop is the CO for this team. So anyone wanting to get on that team, uh, make sure you give him a, a, a something on Facebook. What the hell is it called? What are you doing over there? What the hell is what called? I gotta go deal with him. So this is uh, Ravenwood. Fuck. Alright, so we are back from a little hike around Asylum today. Uh, pretty hot out there today. Really hot. Yeah. I'm, I'm sure come August 3rd for uh, for that event it'll be 65. What event are we having on August 3rd? Oh, we have an event on August 3rd? I can't remember, do we? Do we? What was it called? I don't know. Home were born. That's, that's it. it. Yeah. 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 Make sure you all get registered for that. Oh, can I do it? Can I do it? Do it. Do it. Five dollars. That event goes. The the page goes. The player pool goes live in what a week? Yep. Coming um, up in a week. Start uh, getting with the group leaders. Try and get uh, hooked up with a team. Yeah. Be a good time. Um, you know, once again, thank you to uh, Asylum and Kenny. All the guys out there always been great to us. We now, are now uh, corporate sellouts. We are. <laughs> yes. We are a corporate sellout. My mom said I couldn't accomplish anything. <laughs> Prove you wrong, mom. <laughs> Maybe we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. But uh, yeah, so thanks again to them. Thanks for uh, providing us with those two great guns earlier. If you weren't sleeping out at the field, you would have saw those beauties. I mean, you said be there, and I was there. Yeah, he was. He's always there somewhere. <laughs> um, so yeah, I think we'll. Uh, I guess we'll we'll get the hunks corner now. Yeah. We'll, uh, see how that. Works I got a surprise. Out. Oh boy. Yep. His surprise is usually fuzzy. <laughs> All right. We'll be back. <clears throat> oh, it's so soft. Oh, hello. Welcome back to Hunk's Corner. At this edition, we're going to talk about something that's been bothering me lately, and that's Facebook event invites. It drives me absolutely insane when you invite people to events, either social or airsoft, and no one responds. You get 
four people coming, two maybes, and 46 people who are undecided. And it's like, did they not see it? What are you doing? You get the little little flashing red number that says you got something in the in the min box, and you check it and you say, ah, whatever. It just, like, who's coming? I don't know. And it just drives me crazy, because then you can't plan, you don't know who's coming, and all it takes is two seconds. You say, oh, you know, there's an event over and on the moon, screw the moon, I don't want to go to the moon. You hit no, and then we know you're not coming. Or, or you hit, yeah, that sounds awesome. And it's just something simple, and I don't know why people don't do it. And it just, stop it. Start responding to events, and figure out if you're going or not. And another thing that drives me crazy is when you do, like, say, maybe, you know, maybe I'll go to Blind Fury this year. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to be in August. And then, like, they post, like, 45 things, and you're just like, oh, God, you need to turn that off. But still, just the thing that bothers me. And it's just some stuff I wanted to share with you. So respond to your Facebook event invites, please. That's my opinion today on Hunk's Corner. If you have an opinion you'd like to share with us, send us a link or a message on Facebook. We have that new Facebook page, or send us a thing on YouTube, and, uh, you know, something you'd like us to talk about, and we'll see if we get to it. Thanks. Well, uh, that was a bit disturbing. I like right. that robe. I don't care what you say. That was disturbing. Speaking of disturbing, it's that time again. It is time to call Tarl. See what strain of a hepatitis you're going to get now. Oh, boy. See what happens. It's ringing again. It usually rings. Yeah. It's good. Good ringing. Good ringing phone. Yeah. <laughs> you think Obama's listening to this call? Hopefully. 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 Is he not gonna answer? God, I love live TV. This is this is another. Your call has been forwarded wow. to an automatic voice message system. Well. Two. So I'm just for call Taro today. That segment bombed. Uh, Are you as disappointed as I am? I'm pretty disappointed. That's usually what happens with call Taro. Oh yeah. So, um, I guess that's the end of this episode. Yeah. Um, be sure to visit our new Facebook page. We <coughs> broke away from the official Airsoft Lowell page uh, because we were cluttering up that with non-Airsoft talk. So we now have a new Facebook page, Airsoft Lowell TV. Uh, where you can get all your updates and the shows. Um, make sure to like us and share on Facebook or subscribe on YouTube. Uh, any comments, concerns, questions, things you want us to talk about, uh, you hate me, tell me on Facebook or YouTube. If you hate me, I don't want to hear about it. Well, yeah. Um, again, registration to uh, payment at airsoftlevel.org, $5. Make sure you put your name on it. And as always, I'm Hunk. I'm Flying Cheeto. That robe makes me feel pretty. And there's nothing on these papers but a doodle of a sailboat. <laughs> Good night. <laughs>